Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how Bob Iker has been called out. Uh, the CEO of Disney has been called out by a member of the Disney family. So let's give this a read, shall we, because this makes a really interesting um, article. Abigail Disney is making headlines this summer. The grandniece of Walt Disney ha was arrested earlier this month. Um, and when they mean earlier this month, they mean um, last month. This was published on July 26th of this year, of course. So, um, The grandniece of Walt Disney was arrested earlier this month in the Hampton in a climate exchange protest. And now she is speaking out against billionaires and Disney CEO Bob Iger. In a new interview with Rolling Stones, Disney was asked if Iger was the right person to lead the company. She said, or she responded, let's say, and this will be in quotes, <coughs> that so, that's such a hard thing to say. And obviously, if I say no to that question, that will haunt me on Google for the rest of my life. It's really hard to say. I'll say that what we need now isn't what we've been needing for the last 40 years because it's just a very different climate. climate. I really think it's time for business to reimagine what the point of a corporation is and why a corporation exists. And if we're going to think of ourselves as a bunch of business creating livelihood for people, we really need to read think we really need to we need to rethink how we create those livelihoods we need to question the notion that capital this notion that capital only brings to owners when we can't achieve anything without workers we're doing capitalism wrong and we're going to kill ourselves in the process unless we rethink in another part of the interview she discussed the Iger that the the fact that Iger made $65 million in 2018, or 1,424 uh, times the median salary of the Disney employee. And so Abigail continues to say, quote unquote, um, a CEO should be like a ship captain. You want the job and the shining uniform, but you need to agree on the terms. And if you have $65 million in your pocket and there are people in your company who are struggling to put food on the table that should not feel good to you you shouldn't be able to sleep well at night I woke up one day and realized that just by virtue of being born lucky I had so much more than everyone else and I don't think I've slept well since I figured that out uh, again I want to go over the fact that she said and if you're you have sixty five million dollars in your pocket and there are people in your company who are struggling to put food on the table, that should not feel good to you. You shouldn't be able to sleep well at night. That part alone speaks volumes on anything else. And she even acknowledges that she was born lucky, partly because of her great uncle. Who started this company that would impact millions of children across the globe? Child, like millions of children, right? And I agree. I, like, I'm happy for Bob Biker that he's in the position where he can make as much money as he is. But I, I've had a relative that worked at Disney. They even had to, like, get another job to support themselves. Like, that shouldn't be happening. Like, sure, Disney looks really good on the resume. But... If you're make If you're living it good while the people who are working for you is having a rough time... Just to, like, support themselves, and if they have family, if they're... Spouse and their, uh, and potentially their 
parents that their parents had to let go with, with with them for whatever reason, and or vice versa. And plus, on top of that, on top of that, if they have children, like yeah, I have to agree with uh, um, I'm gonna go with on this one. You shouldn't feel Bob Iger shouldn't be sleeping well. Knowing that. I doubt that he cares, but still. I Bob Iger should not be sleeping well with that knowledge. Um I just wanna give these people a hug, to be honest. But um I agree with what like essentially like I agree with Abigail Disney's point. The point she's trying to make. And like I even read this article where Tatiana Maslany, um, who is best known as She-Hulk in She-Hulk Attorney of Law, even called out, um, well, no, not Walt Disney, Bob Iger, because he is so out of touch, right, of what people want. And if, like, like, Multiple people, like, there's some people that are calling you out. That's working under you. Just say, it doesn't, like, mean anything to you whatsoever. Then, a member of the Disney family, a member of the family, which essentially helped create, like, if someone related to the person who founded the company that you're now... In the in the um position to make a shit ton of money that you are right now, is calling your ass out. That should say something. If no no one else calling your ass out doesn't say say anything to you, Abigail Disney calling you out, Bob Iger should be saying something to you. But I doubt that she wants the company that her great uncle started that had a positive impact on. Kids, families, for so, like, so many years. Yes, I think, like, what, Disney turned 100, like, last year? To be, essentially, digging themselves a grave. And it's sad. It's really sad to see. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you, fellow mutants, later.